Sir Jean Chastel became a hero when the killing stopped. But what kind of animal did he kill? There's strong evidence that he may have shot the number two suspect on our list, <laughs> the hyena. Listen to this. Franz Julien, a curator at the Museum of Natural History in Paris, has some evidence supporting this theory. So I'm sending Dan and Nat to Paris to investigate. Eiffel Tower, the Champs Elysees, the Arc de Triomphe. A magnificent city. Natalie is inside the Museum of Natural History talking to the curator, Franz Julien. Monsieur Julien thinks the hyena, not the wolf, was responsible for the killing spree. Why do you think the hyena could have been Beast of Gévaudan? I think the hyena was a Beast of Gévaudan because when I look at all the descriptions of the injuries of the victims, it looks similar to those a hyena may inflict. Secondly, when we see the beast that Jean Chastel killed, the second animal, he drew a picture of it and it looks like a hyena. This is no wolf. And based on what we know of the victim's injuries, it killed like a hyena too. And then there was the museum guidebook he found from 1819. In the section about the museum's hyena, it describes the animal as looking just like the beast of Gévaudan. So this little book is basically stating that the beast of Gévaudan was a hyena. The booklet is supporting evidence that the hyena was the beast of Gévaudan, just like the drawing. The book goes on to describe the hyena's nature, that it is very aggressive and attacks vulnerable victims such as small children. Would this be normal behaviour for a hyena? Hyenas attack always something that is vulnerable. Someone who is sleeping or maybe a little kid. This is quite remarkable, a hyena. I mean, there were no hyenas in France at the time. Where did they come from? No, It's true. There weren't any wild hyenas in France. But during that period, it was fashionable for the aristocracy, for the rich people, to import exotic wild animals from Africa. Well, I had a good chat with Franz Julian. And you know how I was very sceptical about the whole hyena theory, but now, Kind of, it's a strong possibility now. Well, Franz Julian showed me a drawing made by Jean Chastel after he shot the second beast, and it looked exactly like a striped hyena. I mean, why would he draw a striped hyena if it wasn't? It can't just be a coincidence. And certainly, the hyena theory is sounding a lot stronger to me. The hyena theory is convincing, but there's a problem. Our research indicates that out of the four types of hyena, only one actually hunts. The spotted hyena. And none of the witnesses described the beast as having spots. The striped hyena is a scavenger, so the beast's identity is still a mystery. Maybe it was a wolf disguised as a hyena, a wolf in hyena's clothing. Or maybe something even more bizarre.